It's a sunny winter's day, early November, and I'm in London. I traveled from Edinburgh to shoot fantastic videos and taste even more phenomenal whiskey. And in front of me is probably, and is, well, is my most favorite brand, and it's pronounced Mortlach. Nicknamed the Beast of Dufton, with its punchy and full-bodied flavor. This one here is part of the rare, by nature, 2019 Diageo's special releases. You can see, I've, you've already looked at the bottle, I know that, but on the box next to it, it features a stag. Probably the most prestigious animal to roam the hills of Scotland. And I think that represents this whiskey in front of me perfectly. 26 year old, Pedri Jimenez matured Scotch whiskey. I'm joined by Henry, features editor of Master of Malt. We did some Mortlock videos before earlier in the year and we had a great time. And somehow we've managed to wangle into doing the 26 year old. We did the 12, we did the 16, and we did the 20 before. I look forward to our next video then. Absolutely. You'll be able to see the color on that, that ruby red that's going on. Um, and I think that proves that the fact that it has spent 26 years in a Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. This here at 53.3% is naturally cast strength. And I, I've been looking forward to taking the top off this bottle all day. The Beast of Dufton I think is probably a little bit daunting for a few people because they don't understand why or what. But Alexander Cowie created a unique distillation process and all that did was gave you a punchier single malt whiskey. I speak it sounds simple and it's definitely not. So here we have some fantastic Mortlith. To try and explain it briefly, I think the number of seven distillates are combined together to all make what we have is more like running as different processes and different ideas. Maybe we'll shoot a video to try and explain that in a little bit more depth at some point. Um, but right now, I think we should focus on what's in this glass and the fact that I've poured one that's slightly bigger and I think you're gonna enjoy the bigger one. Thank you very much. We've met before, haven't we? We, we have, definitely. So when you look at that in the glass, that ruby red color, it's really dark definitely tell you that it's been matured in sweet Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. Giving that a nice swirl and popping under your nose. Straight away, prunes and raisins are there. It's quite punchy on the nose actually, I didn't think it would be like that. Like really expensive furniture. Really expensive furniture. Going into an antique shop and there's that an old nice mahogany polished mahoganies and oaks and definitely that hint of leathery kind of tartness around there as well so I think we should taste it though. There's only one word to describe that and it simply is wow. That is sweet, but balanced. Those sultanas and raisins are there. That leathery coating that we have and that slight dryness of oak that's coming through. But the spiciness is really interesting. Absolutely, it's kind of like if we whiskey cocktails and you add Angostura bitters and it makes everything more ar aromatic and pulls flavors out and gets that into your nose to make everything more flavorsome. And that's definitely a representation of what we talk about coming back to that nickname, the Beast of Dufton, because it's full bodied and punchy and there's a lot of flavor going on. I think a few of the other expressions, people have asked me, wow, are these cast strength? Because that punchiness of flavor that comes through, but not necessarily all of that alcoholic punch. And here what we have is that sweet sherry working in this perfect marriage, getting that punchy flavors, but sweetness and dryness and that spice all working together. 
I've taken one sip and when I took that sip, I thought I'm going to want another sip of this really, really quickly. And I haven't had a second sip yet because that flavor is still there. I'm still talking, I'm still breathing. And every time I breathe, I'm getting more flavor through and it stays and lingers. And I just can't believe how long lasting that is. I don't think there's any other whiskeys that really give you that length of time. Um, I'm nervous to take another sip because it's, the longer I'm going here, the more aromatic it's becoming, drying out, but becoming sweeter. And the prune's becoming more prominent. Raisin's going down and sort of dried prune is coming through a little bit more. But I'm gonna have a second sip. I'd be rude not to, cheers. Cheers. cheers.